Hello everyone, welcome to the next video. In this one we are going to be making a gallery with the new Metabox integration inside Oxygen 3.9 Alpha 1 or later. So to start out, I'm going to go to our media library. I already have some images in here which I just got from unsplash.com. You can search in here and pull out images and download them for free. What I did is just got um, landscape images, a bunch of different nature ones, downloaded them all in relatively the same size, and added them to my media library. One thing I do want to note is that if you do want to include captions with your images, you will want to add those captions in your media library under the caption field here, which I've gone through and done that for all of mine just so we have some data in there. So next, what we are going to do is jump over to Metabox, and in our custom fields, we're going to add a new field group. And we're going to call this one Gallery. We're going to actually have to come back because we are going to have to set our posts to a specific page, which I don't have in here yet. Um, I suppose we can just set pages for now, that way it will show up. So again, we got to that by clicking on settings and change our location from post type posts to pages in this instance, or you can set it wherever you need it to be. But I'm just going to stick with pages for this uh, tutorial. Then we'll click back on fields and add field. And what we want to add is going to be single image. Um, I played around with this and um, tried to out the different image fields and it seems like um, Oxygen's gallery wants this one to be used in order for it to work. So I'm just going to leave it as, um, actually we'll change our label here to gallery images and we are going to click the checkbox clonable and that's going to allow us to um, add multiple photos more than just one and we can also set sortable which is going to allow us to drag the order in which we want our images everything else you can keep the same and just go ahead and click publish i'm going to leave this open because we are going to need this id field so i'm just going to leave this here for now and i'm going to go up to my pages now and i'm going to right click and do add new in here we're just going to call this gallery and in order for oxygen to work for us we do have to click publish first and then update again and i'm just going to minimize this for a moment and you'll see down at the bottom we have our add media button so i'm going to go ahead and click that and just choose our first image and click select and then click the blue add more and it pulls up the add media button again and we'll just get all these added in here all right and we have those all added in now and now you can see we have this little dragger here which allows us to move the order that's what um, our field here is when we say that it's sortable. So that way you can change the order of your images if you want to um, just by clicking that checkbox. So we are good here. So I'm going to go ahead and click update so that it saves us, saves this. Now I'm going to open this back up and we're going to jump in and edit with oxygen. I'm going to start by opening my structure panel and we are going to add in a section and I'm just going to give it some spacing right away. I'm going to set it to stack vertically and center and then in here I'm going to add a div and this one we're going to do center middle and I'm going to set this to 
Now we can go to add in the top and either you can search in here or just start typing. And I'm gonna type in gallery. And this is just gonna be Oxygen's native gallery. So we don't need any add-ons in order to make this possible to use. And you see we have our gallery source. And you'll see that meta box is in here. So we wanna go ahead and click that. And then we're gonna to have to jump back to this tab and we're going to copy this ID here. And this is what tells Oxygen where we're pulling that from. So we're just gonna paste that in this field here. And we see that we're getting our images pulling in. You can set whether you want to link the images and then to Lightbox, which is what I typically typically choose. If you choose no, it's not gonna Lightbox for you. So I always prefer to set it to yes. I set my thumbnail resolution to full, but you may do it differently depending on your needs and your image sizes. Next, we'll jump into layout. And personally, I like to choose grid. And you can choose what grid you want. If you want to do three, four, two across, it's up to you. I am going to click this checkbox and it's going to bring everything to be the same size. And the other thing we can do is come down all the way to the bottom and we can choose to set our images to go more than to span more than one um, column and row for a specific image that's just a native gallery or grid option i apologize so i just wanted to mention that if you wanted to set yours up like that next i am going to click the little back button here and click on captions you can choose to show captions it defaults to yes, so you can see when we hover over it, we're getting our caption down here. And it also shows at the bottom when we lightbox it. So we'll look at that once we get to the front end here. So I'm just going to leave this on yes and leave everything as is here. Um, you can go ahead and choose to hide captions below a certain size. So we'll just choose um, lower than 768. So once we get to mobile, Click our back button here and we're going to go to hover and right now you see there's not really any hover effect besides our text showing up down here when we hover. So I'm just going to set a little bit of a um, image opacity. We're going to go to 0.9 just so you can see it changes just a little bit. And again you can change your transition too if you want that to be um, more subtle or faster it's up to you so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save just so we have all that saved here and the one thing I've noticed that gets a little tricky is now when we start jumping into um, our mobile optimization or responsiveness so you can see that it it disappears on us here you want to make sure that you have Metabox chosen here it's still pulling in your field and it's hard to see in here, but there is a little bit of a outline here designating that it is chosen here. But the important thing is coming down to layout and we need to go ahead and choose grid again in order for this to work. Again, I'm gonna leave our set image fit to cover. And on our first breakpoint here, I'm gonna leave our first image to span uh, multiple columns and rows. And we're going to move down to the next size. And you can see our layout jumped um, back to just the default. So we choose grid again. And we can choose um, if we want our columns to be different here. In my case, I am going to go to two here. And we're going to come all the way down, click on our first one here. And I'm going to set this back to one and one and that way our first image um, should default back you can see that it's not doing it in uh, the back end of oxygen but it should show up properly on the front end when we get there so next i'm going to drop down to our next size down and again i'm going to choose grid 
and this one I'm going to set to just one. And again, you can see our first image is not showing properly, but on our front end, it should do this for us. And on our last breakpoint here, I'm also going to click grid. And it should inherit the one, but I'm going to type that in just so we have that. I'm going to click save. And we're going to jump to the front end. I apologize. I clicked the wrong thing there. So let's try that again. All right, so you can see on the front end we have our gallery showing here. And it was pretty easy to get that all showing up correctly. You can see when we hover, we get that little bit of image opacity and our text shows up at the bottom here. And if I do go ahead and click that and lightbox it, you can see it brings the image to basically full screen and you're able to navigate left and right, and we have our caption down at the bottom. So you can see we can navigate through here to our different images. You can see some of our images are a little bit different sizes here, and that they all are showing at full resolution. And 2x, you just click anywhere in the black. So now let's go ahead and make this responsive. So I'm gonna click Inspect and our little mobile icon here and responsiveness does it let me um, drag it? it doesn't i think that is only a chrome feature and i'm in firefox developer here but you can see that on um, our mobile size which is uh, 320 for our width that we're getting just one across and everything is fitting here and if I make this a little bit bigger, let's go up to maybe a little bit bigger iPhone. And let's jump up to iPad. And again, you can see it's showing as two across like it should be. And if we rotate it on our iPad to be um, landscape here, now you can see that we're getting our first image which spans um, two columns and two rows showing up properly again and we're getting three rows across. So you can see our mobile responsiveness is now working. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of um, the mobile mode and inspector and just get back to our normal desktop view. So again just to recap on that, in the back end of Oxygen it doesn't show up quite properly um, but always do double check on the front end to make sure that it is. So in our case, it does look a little bit weird here after we set each of our breakpoints um, with grid. But once you save it and go to the front end, it does show up properly. So that's how easy it is to use um, the new gallery integration with Metabox. Jump back up to my all devices. Again, we're just setting our gallery source to Metabox. We're pasting in our ID from Metabox, which we find right here. Um, typically, if you rename your, your label here, it's going to change that ID. I like keeping a extra window open just so it's easy to navigate back and copy and paste that. But you paste that in and choose all of your different styles and everything here. Again, you can choose what you need for yours. I chose grid for mine, but you can choose um, to do flex or masonry. I'm not gonna jump into those in those videos because um, for most, most people, I think grid is gonna be the typical option. Again, captions, you can change your background color for when you hover and the text color. You can choose to show it on hover or not so we can click no and you can see um, that it's gonna show our captions not just on hover so that is an option as well and again you can choose to show the captions um, at all breakpoints or below a certain breakpoint choose not to show them and again giving a, under the hover tab you can set a little bit of um, opacity there just so you get a little bit of um, 
difference there when you do hover over an image besides showing the caption. So I think that covers this video. Certainly if you guys have any questions, please do let me know. But this is um, very simple to do, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next videos.